Jane Hunt. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. I would like to thank the Honourable Member for North East Fife for introducing this important bill, and she really drove it through, so thank you very much indeed. And it goes a long way in helping hard-working carers juggle their caring responsibilities with their employment. Now, do forgive me, I'm only going to say a few words, uh, because otherwise we may run out of time, and that would be completely wrong for this bill. Um, so the approximately 4.2 million people across the UK who are providing unpaid care over half of whom do so alongside their jobs, are playing a vital role in supporting some of the most vulnerable people, often at a cost to their own lives. I know from conversations with my own constituents the toll providing care often unexpectedly can take, not just on the mental health and physical well-being of the carer, but also on their household finances and other responsibilities, including their jobs. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every single person in this country who actually um, uh, conducts any form of caring. Um, there is a cost to society which is hidden, um, and they um, maintain that and look after it, and that's, that's fantastic work, and thank you very much indeed. Juggling and caring responsibilities and work can be particularly challenging and can limit the participation of unpaid carers in the labour market. We know that women who are often still the primary carers within families tend to be disproportionately impacted by this. Carers must therefore receive the right support to help them carry out their caring roles, and I welcome that the Government enshrined improved rights for carers in the Care Act 2014 and has been working hard to implement this ever since. As part of this, I was proud to stand on a manifesto which committed to extending the entitlement to leave for unpaid carers to one week and pleased when the Government launched a consultation with its proposal for an entitlement to carers' leave. In the Government's response to this consultation, the wide-ranging support for such a policy was highlighted and it was evident that flexibility is the key to meeting the needs of carers. The Honourable Member for North East Fife's bill draws on all this work and will ensure that flexibility is built into workplaces so that from the first day of their employment, carers can request leave to provide or arrange care for a dependent along with long-term care needed. And that's very important because it does mean then that carers can move from job to job, improving their career and yet still have that day one um, help. It is especially important that this additional right is not dependent on length of service and that it can be divided up as needed because we must ensure that legislation accurately reflects the rea realities of caring, which is often unpredictable in nature. I welcome the bill has the support of key stakeholders who arguably have the greatest understanding of the needs of carers, including Carers UK. And I once again uh, support this bill, welcome it, and thank the member for North East Fife for bringing it forward. Thank you. Theresa Villiers. Uh, like other speakers, 